Welcome back, dogs. I hope you're having a tubular Tuesday. College fair, fundraisers, and more right after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Clinton Central Junior and Senior High School is hosting the 2022 College Fair. There will be over 30 different institutions participating in this amazing opportunity for all students to look into their future careers and where they may want to attend college. It will take place on Wednesday, September 21st from 9 to 11 a.m. The permission slips were handed out a while back and the deadline to turn these in is right around the corner, which also happens to be tomorrow. Reminder that the due date to order your yearbook for the price of $30 is coming to an end on September 2nd, so make sure to order yours online at justinyearbook.com or at the bookstore. Now to sports and weather. What's up, dogs? There will be a baseball call-out meeting Thursday during community in Coach Dudley's room. Please check in with your community teachers and head to the meeting Thursday morning if you plan to play. Stop by, the see, stop by and see Coach Dudley if you are unable to attend. Last night, the volleyball team traveled to Peru and faced a tall and experienced Peru squad. The goes to games 1 and 2, 25 to 19, and 25 to 15. Peru was not finished, though, taking games 3 and 4, 17 to 25, and 22 to 25. In game 5, Frankfurt started slow, getting down 2 to 5. From that point on, it was all Frankfurt. The girls took the lead in 1, 11, and 15 on a strong serving and defense. Leading the way for the dogs was Macy Sterry with a personal best of 32 kills and 34 digs. Erica Stevenson added 5 kills and an ace. Mapillion had 17 digs and 2 assists. Jalen Smith provided 40 assists and took a solo block. Ashley Zang had 17 digs, and the combo of Ella McAtee and Justine Thomas put down 4 kills apiece. The JV lost another close one fresh off the bus. The strong serving of Melanie Sandoval kept the team in the match on several serving service runs. Daisy Valdez led the way with 7 assists, 6 digs, and an ace. The girls are back in action tomorrow night here at home facing the Western Panthers. The game will begin at 6 with a JV start and a varsity follow. Sit in the student section. The theme for the game will be Hawaiian. Bring out your best Hawaiian attire and bring your sunscreen and sit in the student section. If you can't make it to the game, it will be live streamed right here on the Hot Dog Network. Now to Emily with the weather report. Good morning. I'm back. Last night was very chaotic. We had a couple scattered thunderstorms and wind gusts were up to 40 miles per hour. The storm flickered my power on and off last night but I eventually ended up getting it back a few minutes after that happened. Anywho, this morning we hit 65 degrees with it being mostly cloudy. Later this afternoon it'll be 78 degrees. Tonight for the boys soccer game it'll hit a high of 82 degrees. I'm in hopes that it'll stay dry for the rest of this week. That's all for weather hot dogs. I hope you have a great day. Now to sports with Nelson. Thanks Emily. The boys soccer team is here at home against Conference rivals, the Lebanon Tigers today. This is a big game. Make sure you come out and support the dogs as they take on the Tigers. The theme for the game will be blue. The game will begin at 5.30. Make sure you come out and support the boys. If you can't make it tonight, it will be live streamed right here on the Hot Dog Network. The cross country team travels to Southmont to compete in the Southmont meet. Good luck to them. The meet begins at 5. Last but not least, the boys tennis team travels to Western Boone to compete against the Stars. Let's just begin at 5. That's all for sports. Now back to your hosts. A huge congratulation goes to Hot Dogs of the Week, including Cameron Zhang, Morgan Hampton, Mary Roberts, and the Hot Dog Network's very own Nelson Honor, representing the senior class, along with Mitch and ba Barons, representing the staff. Keep up the amazing work, dogs. If you happen to pay attention during lunch yesterday, jars have been put out during lunch to accept donations in order for teachers to receive multiple pies of the face during the homecoming pay parlay. And word got around pretty quickly that someone donated $38 specifically towards Buyers of Jar. That's who I'm looking forward to seeing. Just know that any and all donations are going to the Youth Rise Fund, so feel free to donate. A big happy birthday goes out to Judith Sarabia and Hans Lloyd Rensselaer. For, li for lunch today in lines one and two will be chicken smackers with orange sauce. Line three will be a barbecue sandwich, and line four will be pull apart pizza. That'll be all for today's morning announcements. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so that you're notified when we upload. Have a great rest of your day.